All right, tad later than I expected, but we've had worse. Open up the gum. He's gum. I forget if I can actually play this with the game out of focus or not. Why is the game not showing up? Game, please. Uh. There we go. Apparently I cannot play when it's out of focus because the game just outright pauses. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, hopefully the tracker decides it wants to work. Maybe we need to actually start a seed first? But uh, anyway, let me turn my headset down a bit. Get the Discord stuff done real quick. Remove the whole game of today because nobody else is going to be streaming around this time. That I'm aware of. Then here. Also, I haven't probably set my uh, avatar yet. Hold on a second. We need to. Where's my VC? There it is. So, back here. Never mind the menu. The menu is a lie. Alright, that should be about good right there. Oh, and uh, turn off the, the menu. That does not exist. Do not look at the cat behind the, the menus. Because they don't exist. Because menus are illegal. Uh, do, do, I don't think there's anything else I need to do, so I still have access to my chat. Alright. We could. Oh, wait, I got the wrong program, that's why. Never mind. Yeah, I opened up the, the base game, not the, the randomizer. That's why I didn't show up on screen. Uh, here. Time Spinner Randomizer. I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing once I'm out of the window. Yeah, everything freezes. Uh, for game. Nope, not that. There we go. Now it should be working. Look at confirmation. Okay, that's working. All right. So now when I can do new game, it'll give me the true seed because it won't let me do the normal options. Uh, let's go to flip. Okay, I guess settings work. Uh, damage randomizer, yep. I really wish this was, this was better than it was. So, what's the difference between default and random? Let's try default and see what that, see what that does. Not doing archipelago. Alright, flags. Uh, don't start with this. Yeah, let's try progressive vertical movement so we're not getting, like, super progression at once, although it is kind of more fun that way. Uh, prog uh, I don't want to do progressive key cards. Or do I? I don't want to do this. I'll come back to that one. Downloadable items, definitely. Give us more checks. Uh, we don't really need that. Don't need that. Mm, I mean, this technically counts as progression, but I, I like being able to move fast. I do like specific key cards. But yeah, so basically it's either specific key cards or progressive key cards. They don't really function together very well because then you just, you just have the standard progressive setup. Uh, I, th I think I still like the specific. Inverted. I don't know how well. Actually, maybe it gets us past the, uh, the starting cutscene. Let's try that for this one. Um... That doesn't really seem like it's going to be that major a thing. I still don't know what the Geyer locations are. New warps are gated by Merchant Crow and Kobo. Yeah, it's not, I don't know. One of these days I'll find out what this means, then maybe I'll do something with it. Uh, Cantorin's fighting. I don't know who Cantorin is either. Well, checks, yes. Alright, so start with all those. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, zehn. Oh, that'd be insane. Otherwise, that'd be annoying. Uh, so let's try this. Okay, now we pick difficulty, which, uh, nah. Okay, I like how the, the seed code is almost a palindrome. That amuses me. Alright, let's begin. So if we start in the past... Okay, we still got the, the tutorial. I guess this is how we technically get our starting equipment, so I guess I can't completely miss blame for this. Okay, normal blade orb. I do not object to normal. Junk. 
Oh, that one's weak. So, Storm Eye. Which one is this? Oh, I guess that's like the passive surrounding effect. Like a, more like a shield. Alright. I think I picked start in the past. Okay, I did pick start in the past. The so worst specifically does it put us. Okay, so it, it does put us near the town at least. Yeah, because this is quote unquote like the true start of the game, theoretically. Okay. I don't know why we got something already, but we got something. First save. Uh, I wish you could like randomize the randomizer stats. Oh, eternal code already. Damn. Okay. We'll take that. And a weak wind door, but I think that's also what our special thing is based on. Yeah, it's based on wind. Uh, I think that that was just basically like a kind of an air slice in a way. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna keep the the stronger stuff. And this way first, because why not? <clears throat> Ooh, that damage. Look at him get bodied. Oh yeah, I got the speed thing. Oh, how dare you live! You are tanky. Oh, okay. So super fast progression. Good to know. There we go. Ow. Yeah, we can't go down there yet. Yeah, I think I might just go back to the regular start. I, I don't know how to really play him, but this one just kind of doesn't feel much more special, really. Buckle hat. No, it's better than nothing. Plus, it gets us intact, so we'll take that. familiar. Okay. Why not? Okay, it's a little flying robot thing. I don't know if that's like a DLC familiar or not. Well, maybe not necessarily DLC, but like a special like crossover thing. Okay, you are tanky. Just gonna skip those things. It's weak effect, but it's actually not that bad, really. Maybe I should try start trying to buff that particular uh, orb up. Yeah, that's gonna be the sucky part about trying to level it, trying to actually, you know, level it. At least he's on the one that poisons you. There we go. Plus we got like one of the best levels in the game already, so we're not taking a lot of damage. Okay, so they fight against these things. Herb. 
Then we'll get cutscene back to the start. Can I turn it in already? Oh, I can. Okay. It's only antidote. All right, let's go the other way now. The problem is, I think you get experience when you actually get kills, not just hit. I mean, one thing I do like about this weapon better than the sword is that it's a lot faster to hit. Ow. Okay, another familiar. Yeah, unfortunately, Muddy doesn't really have much of a bearing on the randomizer. Unless maybe the the normal, the, the quote unquote default shop randomizer setting up an effect. We'll find out on that soon enough. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted the actual thing that does damage. Especially when it's 20. Midnight Cloak. I think that's a regular armor, right? Yeah, it's Midnight. Oh, I don't want to cook that. I want to keep that equipped. That shard sucks. That's like one of my favorite shards in the passive game. Ow. Fire-breathing burp. Warm brooch? Okay. Changes the friendly appearance. That's not particularly useful. Yeah, it does kind of suck we don't have the ability to burn those, uh, the green grass patches down yet. So hopefully there's actually something useful back here, because otherwise we're going to be, uh, taking a long trip back. Oh, that damage! That's freaking 68! That, that's a little strong. Hmm, okay. Not a plus, though, so I'm not quite as interested. Captain's cap? Okay, more attack. We'll take it. So now the part comes we have to run all the way back. I don't think this is an alternate route we can take because everything's still going to have water attached to it. Now, take that. Give me your legs. Yeah, I've been down there already. Oh, 
say, right? Yeah. And we cannot go there. We can't go down there because, again, water. think there is. Yeah, just the way back up. That's it. Oh god. Oh god. We did not get poisoned. Ow. I guess. Come on. Smug ass bat. Jerky. Eh. That's some good money, though. that yet. And I can't cause him pain either. Goggles ain't. Pretty sure it's not going to be better than the captain's hat. Metal wristband? It's, it's literally better than nothing. Max sand. Also money. Money's good. At least to f until we find out what's actually in the shop. I gotta reset. I always forget about that. I think we have to leave outright and then come back in. Then it doesn't properly deload the area. Not fighting with that guy anymore. Not worth. Okay, pick me up. I think there's a save down here. Why am I getting red connection status? Game or internet, please. I reset you like two days ago. Maybe more recently even. The archers are definitely worth it. The night knight, not so much. You probably less so as well. Yeah, not worth it. Just the archers. Twin pyramid key. Okay, now we can do some cool stuff. And eh. plasma. I'll be able to actually look at the item that's up ahead and know whether or not I should actually go and spend the time picking it up. But unfortunately, I do not have that familiarity yet. Yeah, if I really, really wanted to, I could just go to the past now, but there's not really too much of a point.
Okay, two hits and they're dead. That is acceptable. Nothing there. Any more sand that I can't use yet. Ooh, light wall. Okay. Oh, and blood orb. Oh, okay. Now we can actually start building up Crimson Vortex, too. This one's a little more awkward to use as an actual orb. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it does some good damage, though. Gas mask, okay. Now we can properly survive in the future. But I haven't really seen that come much into play as far as like a randomizer progression thing yet. That I can recall. Ooh, that's good against everything. Maybe not quite you. Imagine if the base blood orb actually healed you too. You know, it's only like one point at a time. That would still be kind of massive. Eh. Pation. And water mask. Okay. We're getting all the progression items early on. I think legit all we need is just the time spinner gears. We pretty much have everything we need for, for go mode. Oh. Boss time. I think this is one of the required boss fights. Okay, you are defended. Okay. Against it. Ow. Okay, that's you. You know what? We don't have anything else really to equip with it yet. Why not? Now, if only like uh, it so did with Curse Effect, where you're when you're immune to stat effect, you take no damage from anything that get causes it. That'd be nice. And then yeah, that's oh, that's I don't know why that's always locked. I forget what's in there in vanilla. Right again. There we go. So we still don't need to activate that, that yet either. Okay, just kind of curious to the bad stats. They kind of suck. 
Uh, okay, so we can't do this. And bottle, eh. Yeah, I need light walls to be able to get up there instantly. But it's not really gonna be that big a deal to be still, I think, get up there with, uh, with double jump. Or maybe, maybe not. Okay, I guess we do need the, uh, light wall then. Uh, I wish I could mark some of these as favorites so they'd be close to the top of the menu. Although I suppose it does also face it by uh, recency as well. Yeah! So I can just go... And then back to where I was before. This was over here. Okay. Yeah, I wish the ice shard was better, a uh, better weapon than it actually was. Unfortunately, it just sucks. Back to light wall. Oh, nope. Come on. There we go. Now, I gotta get used to the menu in this game, too. So it's, always, it's a little awkward compared to other games. Tailwind ring. No. I can't wait till I get my chance to have uh, multiple sets. Go through those. Whoa. Whoa. Pointy hat. <laughs> yep. I suppose I'm not really using the attack spell very much, so we can just stick with this for a bit. I think once I start getting like the final boss, maybe then I'll go back to the other one. But yeah, for now this is good. Now you have more things. Actually, no, it's just the random, the regular items, I think. Not actually that helpful. Uh, can we sell anything for high value? We sell high potions. That's not really worth it. We don't really need sand bottles. Uh, we... I don't have two of those, do I? But yeah, nothing really worth selling here, so... Uh, get some warp shards. Get some potions. I, I assume that gives healing. Yeah, we'll go back to having the random for the shop I would be a thing instead of a default. I could just have made that with a double jump at all. Ow. There. The only thing I really want to fight anything is mainly for the orb experience. Which is kind of minimal because it's already at like a super strength. I didn't even need to get to the second cycle. It was just instantaneous. Yeah. 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 And bottle. Okay. Elder just nice to have activated. 
Okay, so I got it. Got another familiar. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, like, like most games, the familiars really don't do much of anything in, in this kind of game. They're, they're, they're just kind of there to look pretty. Ow. Thankfully, I can I, I can prevent chaos now. Yeah, there's no secrets in there. Yeah, really, the main thing that makes those guys suck is the fact that they can put the chaos on you, which drains all your sand. But not only are we, are we immune to chaos, we also don't even have any sand to lose. So, so they have no power over us. Uh, I gotta do it this way. I can just do one of these guys now. Nice. Oh, you guys actually, you actually kind of booked it. I'm actually a little bit impressed. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start doing... Oh, we can only go here? Huh. Why is the one over there considered active? Curious. Okay, so we still have one more main boss to go through. So we can't get through there. We can't get through any of these key doors, technically. I think this might be open. Sunglasses, eh. And no. Okay, so this is the elevator we can go to. So we can't get in there. We can't get in there. We can't get in there. We can get what's in here. Sun ring, eh. Go through there. We can't go through there. I can't remember which spot goes to what. Okay, I think this actually goes all the way to the other side, which we don't want to do quite yet. Still got stuff over here to explore. This way first. Good loot. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're taking that. Actually, oh, that's one of these, I think. Okay. Unfortunately, that one doesn't need to really be strengthened or anything. Yeah, now we have three of these. We can do even more DPS. Oh, why is that? Okay. That's one of the kind of more fun weapons just to kind of use, but watch it with uh, less than damage. Eh. I think there's still one... Oh, no, this, this was the last pass, so now we can just go forward. We're technically back if you're talking about like, the linear game or, or intended route. I love how you can just open those as you're dashing. It's great that the game lets you do that. Ooh, okay. With melee, I think this might count as a melee because it doesn't really like extend anywhere. Like a running stop. Yeah, I'm actually not fully sure on that one. Yeah, my internet's being a butt. Why is it being a bug, though? <laughs> Try this again. Captain's uniform? Is that any good? I don't think it is. Nope. A lot of luck, but... Yeah, as far as I'm aware, luck doesn't really do much of anything in this game. It's unfortunate. Okay, 
Okay, so a lot of stuff here we can't do because we don't have any key cards. Which sucks. And that's the bottom of the elevator. <laughs> Yeah, we do basically nothing. Oh, wait. Turn that on. Yay, one way pass. Ooh. I forget if the flame was actually any good or not. Also, what was your quest? You don't actually have a quest, I don't think. I don't know why you have a quest icon. We don't have the tablets, we can't read any of these yet. We can check a few things. We can check the shops, see if there's anything different here, which I don't think there's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be all the same stuff. Oh, we got more money now, so. That'll work for now. Hey, we don't really need that yet. Go ahead and activate this. Oh, there's loot. Your loot. Oh, gear number two, nice. Okay, so one more boss, and then one more gear. Then we're in go mode. And honestly, we're kind of in like super go mode, given the fact that we have a really kick-ass weapon right now. Actually, princess dress? No, that sucks. I'm trying to wheel. Okay, now we can actually use the... The sand. Okay. Otherwise, not too much value up here. Can we do it over here? We can get one item. Nah, we don't need that. Ow. Gin Inferno. Pretty good attack shard. As far as, like, vanilla stats go. Also, it's one we, we can use to actually get rid of the, uh, the plants and the present. Let's actually go do that now. So that way when we get to the, when we actually start, start, or start exploring all this stuff here in the present, we can just do everything all at once. Uh, oh no, we don't have the, okay, so we only have this one. So, Infernal Flames. Foosh. I think there's two more that we can get. And we do also have some Warp Shards so we can go right back to one of those rooms when we're done with all this. Give a little bit of time that way. Here's another one. Take you out in the meantime. Are we chasing? Big boy doing the chase. And last one. Should be everything with the uh, yeah. Or is there more? Yeah, we should be good. And we're about near a teleport anyway, so we'll just use that. Give ourselves a shard in the menu. I wish I didn't stop my motion when I. Oh, I can actually outrun those. Interesting. I didn't even notice that before. And boss time. Oh, that's not what I wanted to use, but it's actually pretty strong. Holy crap, that was a quick kill. We take those. work nice Ow. actually 
actually. We're gonna put the light wall back on. Oculus ring, eh. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait for me. Okay, now we can start uh, swapping stuff. So we're gonna stick with Blood Orb for both sets because it's just like too powerful. Then we'll put uh, the Crimson Vortex in here. And then. Uh... Yeah, we'll do the same. We'll make that basically the boss fight set. Could go in there. I think that should be open from the start since the door would already be like broken down in time. Yeah, we can get all the stuff over here first, come back around, get all the middle stuff, and then take our way down that way. Gun orb. Yeah, the gun's just not really utilitarian enough to be all that useful even in the base game. It does decent damage, but it's kind of a slow weapon. There are much better range, uh, range attacks than that one. Ooh, 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 we'll take it. Attack and defense, yes. Mostly attack at this point, because our defense is already kind of insane, but yeah. Hopefully that wasn't required. I think it was just a potion. But yeah, that'd be kind of bad if that could actually be like regression and I didn't get it somehow. What does that do? Oh, it just gives luck. I accidentally took care of one of those statuettes. Okay, there's finally Keycard D. We got the basic entry stuff. Lab code, which I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't do much. Radiant Orb. Eh. Yeah, I'm not using the Lightweight for the damage anyway. Arm cannon off. Get back here. Familiar. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we've already got everything else down here. Uh, yeah, now we can head back to the Thunder Down Rune Catacomb thing. Shot. So familiar. Zoom on through. Get our free quick save refresh. Okay, so we can't go through here. I don't. Th I guess maybe we do need a key card for that. Maybe it's still recognize it after like hundreds of years have passed. Uh, since we do have access to the the D stuff now, we'll take care of some of those. Is this a D or is this a C? That's a D. Cool. Shadow Seal and eh. Empress Rope. Nope. So Eternal Gear is the best gear. Uh, we've already been through here. We don't have the tablet yet, so yeah, skip that for now. 
We should be able to go through here. No, that's a V card. Uh, we can go through here again. I forget just how much else there is with V cards. I know there's at least one. Ah, I tried to dodge the, the sneaky one. I failed. I think this is C. B even, okay. Yeah, I think this one would just better off with the elevator. Yeah. Take this over this way. Oh, we can't even go that way. Okay, never mind. Uh, in that case, let's actually just use a uh, warp shard. So where do we want to go from here? Uh, I guess there is some stuff we can do over here. So I think one of these is a D card requirement. Also, we haven't beaten the third boss yet, have we? I think that's Demon's Maw. Yeah, I think that's the, the Demon's Maw. Once you get through that, then we can go to the or start heading toward end game. That's B. A, B, okay, yeah. Okay, we can't do any of these. Never mind. So I guess we can't do too much else with D right now. So... Uh... We've already been through the library. I think we're done with the present for now. Oh, we can do the stuff underwater. So now we got the, uh, the scuba gear. So that'll let us go to, like, the ancient ruins. I don't know what they're actually called, but I'm calling them ancient ruins for now. Should save just in case, because I know the the poison mushrooms can get really annoying. Or they can just die instantaneously, that works too. It's almost quick enough to avoid even the poison becoming a thing. Not quite, but almost. I hate how the, the vine itself can cause damage like that. I think the galaxy stone is something we can sell, but that's about it. Ice sword, man. Ow. That was almost flawless. I think this is an item here. Yep. Okay, that's definitely a selling item. I think there's one more item up this way? Or is that it? Let's confirm. That's not breakable. I think this is... Okay, this just uh, connects the rooms. Okay, so that once we get to that breakable wall, that's the end of the items over this way. I'll try to remember that for future. I could almost aim where the, the blood thing starts, but I'm not really sure how. Mm. 
Nail. I think this is a save over here. If I remember right. Oh no, it's an item. But it's just aura. Portal room. Okay, where did that pop? Okay, I guess it kind of has pop ups in them because the way the game is coded. But yeah, that, that was interesting. So we do have the saves. Let's go ahead and take this out. Yeah, this should be easy. Now we just need one more gear, and then we're in go mode. How dare you survive. Oh, how dare you survive and hit me. The insubordination. Balance rank, eh. Go up just as quickly as we went down. Uh, there's actually still stuff we can get over here now that we have the uh, underwater. Oh, come on. Mind refresh. And... Ooh, key card. Okay, key card's good. B card that gives us access to quite a bit of places inside the library now. How did that miss? Wait, do I not have the Star Lockium equipped? Actually, I prefer the Star Lockium. Because one HP is not exact. Aw, oh, damn. Okay, that, that was me being dumb. Oh. It's already poisoned. Okay. Now we use the antidotes. Oh. Now we will use the antidote, Mr. Game. Thank you. So much drop. Many things. Ah, uh, not necessary. Alright. So from here, where do we want to go? There's still a bunch of stuff in the uh, present we can still do. Actually, I guess we kind of did all those. I guess it's in the path that we involved, like the water checks. We'll take care of all those. Theoretically, we should just start trying to go mode it now and see if we get lucky with the time spinner gear. Which honestly, I might change my mind and just go for that instead. But for now, we'll finish up this section. Hey, we gotta respawn in that warp card. That's cool. Was there no path on the side? Oh. Hey, 
Maybe I just missed it. Ooh. Eel meat. Okay, there is nothing here to get. Okay, there's the box. Alright. We need to head this way. Not being fruitful. Can't go down there yet because we need the A car for that. I'm, I'm semi certain. Uh, yeah, let's check some more library stuff. The. Yeah, I kind of went through the wrong side, but oh well. Gotcha. So there's a bee. Dust ring. Eh. Okay, so this connects everything here. There is a bee here, because I know there's an A, B, and C. Which would be the second room up here. Yep. Okay, so this is all the easy enemy stuff. I don't need to worry about this. Oh, we can't do that until we get the tablet. Okay. So, nothing here, actually. That is annoying. Let's remind ourselves what's over down here. Then we'll probably just go back and start trying to just go on everything. This section, okay. This is gonna be where all the poison lizards are. And also the water that I technically should not be swimming in. Because this cannot be sanitary. Under any standards. resistant too. That is in fact important. Yeah, I'm taking damage in this regard. Ooh, tablet. Hell yeah. That's gonna be a lot of checks we can do now.
Okay, that does absolutely nothing for us. Yeah, that, that's basically the end they used to do the initial time travel at the very start of the early game. Oh, yes. Now we have high jump. And unfortunately, it's after we take care of all the water stuff, so the, kind of the best use for it is kind of negated. I mean, like, kind of the fact you move so much slower in water normally. And you still move slower even, uh, even with the Celestial Sash in the water, but it's still faster. Like, a lot faster. One jump, two, three. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go... Let's go go mode it. Let's see if we can get lucky. Okay, Blood takes care of those guys instantly. I like that. Ow! That hurts. My god. Oh, there's key card A. Okay. Oh, you bastard. Fine. You live this time. But I'll remember this. Oh, how did... God damn it. Yeah, it's kind of the one downside to the Blood Orb is that it's awkward to use. Okay. You get, you, oh, God. I actually might have to use my knife at some point. Also, yeah, apparently you can attack him from behind with that thing. Good. Okay, there's a fire orb. Which, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to compare to the blood orb at this point. Just got to fight the uh, the scientist guy here. I forget that if that his name is actually Amadeus or that's just like a historical lab owner name, whatever. But yeah, gotta get the scientist here. Then we can say. So glad it's not instant death. It's so cute the boys. Uh, yeah, nothing actually falls from up here, I don't think. We kind of have to more or less standardly get across here. Oh, right, I forgot we have the celestial stat. We can just do this instead. Oh, there's the last key card. Okay. Not that we need it anymore, but there it is. That's pumpkin. Huh. Okay. Splat. I think it's over through here. Oh, I think... I think there's just an item over this way. Yeah, I think it's just an item. We'll skip that. Okay, so we have to take out one of those guys. Yeah, let's, let's just try leaving. Aura. Yes. Up. Oh. Scythe ring. Uh, I don't think that's all that useful at this point. 
I would like it to be useful, but it's kind of just not. Especially because our orbs, I don't think, necessarily actually go out and touch the enemy themselves, so I wouldn't really add much. Chaos Blade, eh. Okay, that's just pure story still. Okay, why you, why do you not fully die properly? We've been tome. Time just completely boss this guy around. Genza, that's his name. Oh, holy crap! Overlong Wolf, thank you for the raid. Holy crap! Welcome on in. How you doing tonight? Malakath the Black Blade. I'm assuming that's Elden Ring. I know that they have a lot of characters with like an M starting name. Okay, I guess they're right. Yay, go me. I, I kind of know gaming. Yeah, how you doing? How was your stream? All right, so to do, do Tyrannus. Time to whoop you in the butt. Too late. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually not even afraid of taking all this damage. Yeah. Get jumped on. Oh, too early. Oh no, the game's breaking. Ah! Uh... Boop boop boop. Yeah, doing things. The best goal of any game. And thank you for the follow-up. Many thank you. Get in there. Yeah. Special portal. Oh wait, we don't want to use that. Yeah, I really haven't really like played much of like most Souls like games. I played a little bit of the original, and just not a really serious I could get into. But yeah, Elden Ring definitely looks cool. Something else. Oh, I, I don't know why. Stuck. Game, game. Can I move? Thank you. There we go. I don't know if this jumping is helping, but it feels like it is, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Not sure I made that work, but cool. Ow. 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 Time Spender is very fun, especially when I'm doing the randomizer right now. Yeah, we had kind of a kind of a broken one run because we got like some super powerful weapons early on. And just look at that damage I'm doing. Yeah, in, in this game, normally just doing it, just being able to do like 20 damage is considered a lot. We're doing like 47 per day. We, we are slightly busted. And, and the thing is, okay, so this orb is basically like you're kind of taking the blood out of the opponent. I don't know how I dodged this. But yeah, for some reason, taking the blood out works on like a little clock thing. Don't ask me how, it just does. Oh yeah, this is an amazing game. I highly recommend it. Yeah. 
it's, yeah, it's definitely a, a Metroidvania genre game. And it does, it does have a lot of themes from uh, uh, Castlevania as well. In fact, there's even like a couple rooms that have like a very kind of obvious nod to... I should actually be careful. Uh, let's do some... That should be enough. Actually, he's actually resistant to my attack, so... Let's try this one. Oh, God. Well, yeah, falling in this stage is not a bad thing, because you just, like, infinitely fall. Yeah, I'm just being very bad right now, and I don't know why. Hey, actually dodge an attack. Kill me. Oh, almost got two attacks in a row. Yeah, I got him. Yay, I did it. I beat the randomizer. Yay. And then for the sake of not showing spoilers, we'll uh we'll skip the ending. Alright, so since we got that first run done, I'm gonna take a quick little BRB. Then we'll start up a second run and see how well that goes. So yeah, I shall... Uh, where's my thing? Here it goes. I shall BRB right back. Break complete, beverage gotten, beverage opened, 3% of beverage drank, then we'll turn out the BRB, back into GOM, and start our next seed. So, uh, actually, I sent these back to randomized shops, even though it doesn't really do much. Uh, to do flag, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll turn a uh, ver progressive vertical movement on, because I think that does kind of make things a little bit better as far as, like, the feeling of progression. Uh, we'll stick with the specific key cards. Uh, quick see so we can actually get the dash from the start. Downloadable items. Uh, not going to bother with inverted. 
Uh, lore checks, definitely. Yeah, I think those are the settings that we kind of like the best. Then we'll do a bunch of new. Right about there. And let us begin. So what are our starting orbs this time? Can we start with... Well, we get kind of a crappy one. That's just a, actually, it still does decent damage, it looks like. Oh, never mind. It only does two damage. That kind of sucks. I'm trying to kill a thing, but it won't let me. There it goes. My god. Okay, we do have a, a super powerful attack, at least. Ooh, 45 damage. Nice. This one... Oh, because that's the meteorite spell. Alright. Let's go get the game properly started. Yeah, it's one of my favorite spells in the vanilla game, too, because it does, like, a good chunk of damage. It also doesn't... Okay, I guess it does cost a lot of mana. But yeah, just... just, just it's, it's, it's just... It's beautiful. Okay, we just start with double jump. I am not going to turn that down. Oh my god, this thing does one damage. And this thing's at like 10 hit points. Oh, this is... Uh, this is horrendous. Okay, so... The second we get any other orb, I don't care what it is, I'm equipping it using that instead. So this one is just... Uh, do one damage at a time at a kind of slow attack rate. And our only other attack is one that costs like half our MP per cast. I am I am not impressed. Oh god. I mean, thank we have double jump early on so we can get some of these earlier checks. Uh I would I wish I could say I like the seeing tablet now, but I really don't. This is the last well, not necessarily the last thing I want to see, but less just the last thing I want to see at this very moment. Come on. Okay, so now we can go through uh actually we can go to the the past already. That part's kind of nice. The Bronze Art Horizon is what we can get to. Ether. Uh, yeah, I can still use this. At least this has a decent range. So I get like two enemies at once with this. Well, how much damage do these things take? Okay, a lot, that's how much. Do that. Max sand, eh. Ah, dude. And the thing is, the knockback is kind of a lot, and you don't really have any eye for it. It makes it really hard to just kind of brute force your way through these areas. Which I guess is probably the intent, but... Not the best thing in this circumstance. Ah, oh, I thought I would thought I could time that. I think there should be a save right here, at least. We can refill our health. Uh, how much can we get up here? Aura. We can't get anything. Okay. It was worth a shot. I actually probably shouldn't have done this fight, because this is going to take forever. Well... I think this guy has like several hundred hit points too, if I remember right. You have ether. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get a second hit in. That's health. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a far cry from what I was doing last uh, see with as far as like weapons and attack power. There we go. Okay. Okay, Max War Up is actually kind of nice right now. Uh, what was it? So I think there was something else. Oh no, there wasn't anything else we can do here. So let's move on. Please give me another orb. Even if it sucks, I just want another orb. So we don't have any cards yet. Okay. We got a cool looking Lunaeus. That's not bad. Ow. Oh, I can actually stand on top of those spikes. Good to know. Pick me up. Yeah, still just one damage. And the problem is the orb experience doesn't increase unless you actually kill things, which we kind of can't really do very effectively right now. Uh, so this way we can't go because we don't have any, any cards. What can we all actually do here right now? Oh, we have a tablet at least. Ooh, Empress Rub, okay. So we can get some uh, good defensive equipment. And a little bit of attack. Okay, anything good in the shop? Uh, not even slightly. I guess the Librarian hat isn't bad. It is a little extra attack. It's still not necessarily ideal. Got the earrings? Actually, orb experience gain. We kind of need that for this crappy orb right now. So yeah, that works. And no cards. We can still get over here. Okay, water mask is okay. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's a necklace. That's like an actual spell. It's not just a word, damn it. With an egg, storm eye. That's another spell. Well, I guess we get a familiar. Okay, orb. We got an orb. Go away, Radiant. Yeah, it's kind of the more basic attack type, but we'll, we'll take it, gladly. We can't get in there. We head over this way. Over there is going to be the V door, which we can't get to. We can't get through here. Okay, so we're blocked on this side. But we can go to the pass now. Uh, this, oh, there's a thing here. Oh, I think there's actually several tablets here we can get. Mind Refresh, Vendaria, Galaxy Stone. What does that do? Extremely Rare Gemstone. Is that sellable? I want to find that out. Because not being able to actually equip it is kind of a weird thing. Uh, did you... Oh, we can sell the Gilded Egg for, like, a bajillion dollars. Um, that's stuff we can sell. Okay, so we can't even sell it. Um, yeah, nothing here of value. Oh, well, we can't even buy any Helia items. That might suck. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the past. Why are we starting over there? Okay, so apparently your your first uh, pass location goes in randomized. I was actually not aware of that. Huh. Okay, so this is actually yeah we can't go here. I think that's probably like a post game boss you can probably go to because I've, I've never been able to enter there in a randomizer. Oh, you're a tanky. Okay. There we go. Yeah, this is the area that kind of borrows heavily from uh, Castlevania series. A little more so one of the other options. But music-wise, for sure. Why am I taking so much damage still? I have the Empress thing equipped, right? I'm taking a lot of damage, my god. 
Colossal Hammer, no. Eternal Crown, there we go. A little more defense and some more attack. Beautiful. Yeah, the damage we're taking, why are we taking so much damage? Unless maybe like the level is actually part of the calculation for damage. I'm sure I'm a much lower level in this area. Okay, I think this is a save. Okay, we're good. At least we will be good if I actually hit the save. Well, this is going to be a little on the tough side, but we'll try it. Oh, I, how much was that? Did that say 338? Holy... I think we're broken again. Holy freaking crap. I don't care about the chaos. Okay, the item is not worth it. But it was a required boss, so at least that is a benefit. So update our save, make sure we don't lose it. Let's see what's over here. Alright, oh, this guy. Now you dealing with you. Those guys aren't worth fighting. Pyro ring, eh. Get the chocobo. Plasma Orb requires the use of your magic in order to actually use, or it makes it kind of more, less useful in my book, even when it is strengthened by the randomizer. Another orb. That's that can be a decent one. How much damage does that do? Another orb, 14. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, here we go. Yeah, 
Uh, same basic effect, but it does do like a little secondary, like black hole thing on a random chance. Also, gas mask is nice. Well, I, I keep forgetting if it actually does anything in the randomizer with the settings I use. I know there was one setting where it actually makes it required for a certain boss fight, but I've never had that active. And I've never really seen it needed otherwise either. We can still come up here. Come on, other way. Is this the right way? I feel like I want to go down first. Okay, technically I want to go down first. It just wasn't so vital. Got him. Ooh, full damage now. Okay, less damage on them, but I'm not worried about that. Seal. Eh. Oh, we got light wall. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll keep the light wall for the time being because we have a different shark attacking now. Icicle ring. Eh. Got him. I'm getting relatively confident about my level and defense now, so... I'm gonna not murder every single thing I see. Just most of it. I think it's a save? Yeah, it's a save. Neep. We have light wall so we can get that chest. Well, I would kind of like to get rid of them first. Let's go ahead and eliminate, then movement. the scuba gear. Oh, I think I got the scuba gear instead of the gas mask. I think I got that confused earlier on. That's probably what did it. So nothing here. Uh, I need to figure out how I want to go through this area. Princess dress? I think it's weaker than what we have now. Empress robe. Yeah, it's overall not really much better. Last pumpkin. I keep forgetting what that actually does. Okay, that's our good gear. The eternal code. Nope. Okay, so jump about here, I think. Yeah. Very pick me up. We got another. Okay. Technically a good ring, but we don't really have an offensive effect for it. Let's should go to the lake. Yep. Or the, the caves of banishment. Or I just call it the lake, because that's basically what this area is.
Yeah, that little effect right there is the, the cool thing. Oh, but I don't know if it actually does anything, like, mechanically. It just looks cool. Better ones too. Not just because it starts with B. Ooh, armor? Actually, we already have the best armor. I don't know why I wanted to pick that up. I guess I'm just more fashionable than I, than I thought. Oh, there's a chest up there too. Looks like that before I forget. Okay, just for aura. There should be stuff on both sides. Yep, Chaos Rose. Nothing there, never mind. I was wrong. How dare I? I'm gonna do this to get our, our teleport back here. And we can't turn your thing in yet. Let's go ahead and get the safe here just because. Oh, it's not a safe, it's a. Teleporter, okay. That's actually kind of better. Because there's more movement options. Oh, uh, just in case you have something I can actually... Oh, just a familiar. Okay. Essence Crystal? Okay. And unfortunately, we can't actually use any reinforcements in the randomizer, which I've, I've always found kind of annoying. It's basically a way to be able to strengthen everything without having to actually, like, kill things. Gas blades, oh, that's weak. Tailwind and ether. Okay. Uh, is that nothing down here? From the past, I think I want to go down the path to get to figure out all the fire stuff first. Just make sure I don't. Forget. Oh, yeah, I'll figure out all the water stuff later. Also, that is technically a boss. I like the barest of definitions. Save, yeah. I don't know if we have the actual fire orb yet. I don't think we do. No, so we would need... I think Jin Inferno does count as a fire effect. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. That's on, based on Forbidden Tome, so I need to... As soon as I find that, we need to actually start buffing that up. Wristband, which is like an extra slight bit of defense. Uh, yeah. Fire crown? Uh, we'll take the extra attack. It is technically for a quest, and we might have out of it. Although, I don't think the quest can give you an actual progression, as far as I'm aware. I think that does... No, it doesn't. I was gonna say, I think that raises our attack, but I think maybe the crown we have already does that. And we get a better raid.
Should be an item here too, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so which is gonna be better? So that's 30. That's like a billion. I think a billion is higher than 30. I don't think we can actually fully enter here anyway, so let's just get the item at the bottom and then just come back right out. Yeah, I, I kind of know that feeling. But yeah, I, like I said, I do highly recommend this game. It is very fun to play. It's got a really good story. And yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a great Metroidvania, or Metroidvania all around. Also, we can enter here. I was not expecting that. In fact, I'll say if the game is not on sale now, which I don't know if it is or not, it probably will go on sale for like the, the winter holiday like Steam sale, stuff like that, so definitely check it out for that. You should be able to get a good deal when that, uh, when that comes around. And even that, I don't think like the base cost of this game is necessarily that high either. I would say it's like maybe... Okay, I'll, I'll just look that up right now, just because I'm getting curious. Uh, do... Why is my... Okay. My Steam was not acting right for a second. Page. So it is. So full price, it's just it's twenty bucks, which in my opinion is a, is a pretty good price for a game of uh, this size and the content you get for it. One of the mechanics that probably isn't really being shown very well is that you can actually level up your orbs by just using them in combat for a lot of, or for a lot of stuff, and you actually increase the damage it does over time as well. And when you upgrade the the orb level, you also upgrade the spell that the or, or the spell that's linked to that orb as well. But I don't think we have the spell that is uh, set for this orb. But yeah, that spell will get constantly better as we use more of this. Which in this case is why as soon as I forget the position tome, I'm using that as my primary weapon. So I can make the, the meteorite spell even more powerful. Or lock him? Okay, I like that. And time spinner wheel, we can actually stop time now. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a third third orb to attack with. Ooh, barely made that. Royal ring, no. Yeah, and uh, each one does have a, a ring that gives you like a passive effect, but I don't know how much, if at all, those actually scale with the orb level. Yeah, you can basically like a full set of a particular kind of orb type. You kind of, they don't they don't necessarily buff each other at all, but it's, it's nice or always nice to have like a just kind of like a what feels like a set bonus. In the vanilla game, that does something. In the randomizer, it does not. We, we, we kind of skipped that part of the main story, but it's part of the randomizer. Get wrecked. Leak ring. I forget which room that's linked to. I think this is a save room. No, which is an item here. Or a blast. Okay. Uh, what is our current spell right now? Jin Inferno. Yeah, that's gonna be infinitely better. As long as Jin Inferno has a plus sign on it from the randomizer, it's gonna be the by far the most damaging spell in the game. Hard okay. So I'm not getting the double hit from there. Leap. Oh, more key cards. Nice. So I think we have the B and D cards now, if I remember right. Definitely not a bad start.
I think, I think that's two out of three required bosses beaten. Off a random little bit of that was not worth it. Okay, so we've already saved the the guy, and I got poisoned. The exact same way I did last. Time. Slightly embarrassing, but not really the worst thing that happened to us. So, where do I want to go from here? There's still this little gap in the middle here we can take care of. I don't remember how much is actually in that gap, but we can start working on that. Oh, I'm glad we came here then. First of three gears that we need. And, okay. So, Mayev gets a new color. He is now made of blue. Blue, da da dee, da da da. Okay, not really too much going on there, I guess. I wonder if we can turn in any quests at this point. Uh, not to you. Uh, we can start your quest, but we can't actually complete it. We can start your quest. But you sell stuff? You don't sell anything useful. You sell jerky, actually. That's probably like our one main source of healing this seed, so... Let's go with it. Yeah, one of the slightly annoying things is that you can, you can only have at most like nine of any consumable item in this game. So it makes trying to heal in certain sections more annoying than it would otherwise be. Yeah, now that we have uh, some key cards, let's, let's go back to the library. I think we can get up here. Where's this a C? Okay, it's a D. So cute. Fireless cloak, warp shard, pointy hat. Nope. Only sadness. That's a V card, so we can't do anything with that. Come on. Damn. Yeah, the music is amazing too. Pr pretty much everything about this game is amazing, as far as I can, as far as I can say. The movement feels really clean. The music kicks ass. The graphics are beautiful. Yeah, and then, like all the cosmetic upgrades you can get for Lunea as the main character here. I don't remember that cutscene being there. But yeah, all of the c cosmetic upgrades for Lunea as well are also pretty cool. Like I think this one is one that you normally get for like kind of get getting like a middle of the game upgrade. And then there's one that's like an end of game kind of post game upgrade that makes it look even cooler than this. I really love the way that they designed the character as well. Oh, also one of my favorite small things that those guys right here. So their shtick is that at distance they throw these grenades. You can knock the grenades back and kill them with the grenades. I I, I love that. It's one of my favorite little things about the game. I don't necessarily need to go in there. Leash and crown. Okay, that sucks. No, I really should check to see if there's actually like an updated version of this randomizer. I was still playing the original version I downloaded like I don't even know how long ago. It's possible they made some upgrades since. Yeah. Oh. Let's go ahead and uh, take the sand upgrade. Get this. Get down here. Sand bottle. Okay, nothing useful there. Actually, I can go up to here, I think. No, I can't. That's a C door. Damn it. Ah, oh, that makes me sad. 
come down here. We can't come through here, though. Sanguine Ring. Not as useful as you would like it to be, honestly. You only get, like, one hit point at a time. Refresh our save. The teleport. I forget where this goes. Oh, right. This goes in the... Okay. This goes here. Now, the lizard things that are up ahead are actually poisonous, so we want to be a little bit careful with those. Yeah, because poison does kind of last a while, if, and if you're not careful, it will actually help destroy you. Eruption, okay. Yeah, one of the other things I love about this game is that almost every orb has some kind of like unique uh, attack or flavor to it. Like, of course, the orbs I've actually shown off so far have just been, just you throw the orb and they kind of comes back to you. Like, you know, some of these are actually just outright swords that you swing around. Uh, some of these are actually just outright guns you can shoot at people. Some of these will like shoot out things of fire, some will shoot out like a couple of pillars of ice. And like all the orbs are, are most of the orbs are actually useful in some way, shape, or form as far as combat goes. And yeah, just I, I just cannot say that's a good thing about this game. I think there's an item over Nope. There's an item over nope. I don't want to get hit by you. Anvil. Nothing. That slime was out for blood. Okay, nothing useful. That's unfortunate. And there's the poison. And I'm just being reckless. Alright, so where do we want to go now? I guess we can go back up and see if we can use any more of those key cards for anywhere useful. I think we still can. Let's go ahead and go to the save point so we can heal and get our... Oh, poison's gone, but... Yeah, let's heal up real quick. Especially since it's uh, so quick and free to save. So can we go across here? We can. So I think we still need one more boss. Yeah, so there are like three lasers here that kind of represent the three bosses you need to kill in order to be able to activate that area. And I think we can access the third one from here. Maybe. Or is that in the past? Midnight Cloak. I don't remember that being an item. Huh. Okay, so first door is A, second door is B, which we can go for. Okay, that's useful. Can go through there. Oh, there's an item in here. Max sand. And that needs a C card, which we don't have. Alright. We can go down here, see what's in this area. There's nothing there. No, there's no secret down there. Actually, it's kind of not the way I want to go first. I want to go this way first. This goes to a dead end with an item. Ooh, key card. Oh, C card, perfect. Now we can finish exploring. Or serpent. Ow. I don't think this is the boss. Oh yeah, this boss. 
This is actually not a required boss. I'm kind of wasting time by doing this, but oh well. Ooh, 500. Oh, that is just so broken. I love it. Spaghetti. One of the best foods in the world. And we've already been here. So, we basically explored all this area already. Is there anything we've missed? We need the A car for that little black or unfilled spot there. That, that was a V car we need for that. Yeah, I think we're done with this, at least the, the library. Maybe the present entirely. We'll, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, either way, it's going to be about the same time, I think. Alright, so where do we go from here? I think we've already explored everything in the present that we can do. Or have we? No, oh, there's like this upper path between these two we can do. That should give us a good few items. Including that one. Empire, nope. Yeah, that Empire Orb, you literally just get like a big ass fist and just punch things. That, that would be nice. Welcome back. Yay, tamales. Oh, is that like the, the candy type tamales or like actual tamales? I don't know what the actual tamales are. Assuming there's actually an actual tamales and I'm not, I'm not just being like dumb and weird. Burning road. Okay, I would like to get some kind of progression game. This game, this game's been kind of dry for a while now. And... nope. Apparently the game does not want to cooperate. Uh... We might be able to get inside the... The rooms now? Let's try it. Well, okay, so I think our progression right now is I need to go back to the... Pass. We can fight, I think it was the, the queen. Maybe we should probably head there instead of uh, anywhere else. So we'll come by here, we'll get the item at the bottom of the thing, then we'll use the teleporter to go back to the present. Up there, save. Familiar, eh. Okay, yeah, we can't get in there yet. I think we need the A card for that, because that's what we need in the, the... Actually, wait, no. This is... This is the present. I always forget how opening that door works. Anyway. Um... Actually, we should already have everything here taken care of. Hmm. Actually, the stuff under here we can still do, too. I haven't done any of this bottom path, or bottom path yet. Okay, so what actually is an actual tamale? Is that like a, a like a pepper of some kind? Yeah, I, I am not exactly well knowledge on how, like, food works. Most of the food I get is either just from, like, a restaurant slash fast food place of some kind, or just, like, frozen pizza. Food is not my culture point. Okay, 
that's not helpful, but we'll get it. Things on top of the the third boss, we also still need two more time spinner gears. Those can basically be anywhere. Oh, okay. Now we got high jump. Sweet. Vertical movement is no longer a concern. Do I need to fight them? So we fought. Maybe we're actually already good on the uh, the bosses. I'm just not realizing it. Oh, was there a pathway to the left? I think there was. Okay, there's something here. More sand. Should be a chest down here too. Right there. Blue orb. Okay, so if we... Yeah, let's try going to the present. See if maybe we can go through here and I just, like, spaced out and beating the boss. No, we're still missing a boss. Okay, so I think we did get... The Succubus and Incubus. We got the Demon Maw. That's in the present. That's not going to be where we need to go now. We got everything in the castle, I thought. Let's double check. I don't remember fighting the, the Queen the second time tonight. No, we haven't. We need to go this way. That's why. The thing is, that, that's actually where I started the game at. At least in this age. What does that do? Angle increases experience. You know what? Why not? Class that does. Oh, luck. Okay. We are not worried about luck. I think it's a save, right? Yeah. Okay, don't anything over there again, I don't think. Oh. Hello. Oh, you even sell Eternal Crowns. Okay. Uh, Whoop Shard, Vine Refresh. You know what? We, we got a billion dollars. Let's just max everything out. There's gear number two. So this boss and then one more gear and then we're good. Okay. 
So she does resist this one a little bit. That kind of sucks. There we go. Gotcha. We get a refill. More loot. Oh, there's the V card. Okay. That'd be a good uh, few quick checks we can do. Yeah, I think I want to do this, those library checks before we go to the Alchemy Lab or whatever it's called. Just to make sure we're not missing anything obvious. Be any, oh wait, that, there is technically something over here. Okay, wait, chest. And, nope. Come on. There we go. Dark flames. Sprite. Oh, there goes my sand. Kind of not really using my sand, but there it goes. On to hopefully go mode. Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna check the library first. Uh, did you? Yeah, I think it was like three quick checks we can do inside the V room. Okay, none of them are actually useful. That's unfortunate. Uh, here we go. Shadow is, is normally a great weapon in vanilla, but when it has like the, the minus damage and the randomizer, it's almost useless. It only ever does like one or two damage per tick. And it does, does a, lot of, a lot of ticks of damage, but there's only so much you can do with like one or two damage at a time. Blade Orb, nope. I think there's something here too, right? Okay, B card, yes. Blood Orb, okay. Actually, what does more damage at this point? So Nether Orb does 14. Blood Orb does 12. Okay, I think we're better off just sticking with what we have. Balance Ring and... If we can do anything down here right away. Let me get out. Then we come back this way, so I'm not gonna bother going in there. 
Quick save. Actually, we can get some items over this way. Ooh, jewelry box, finally. That's like the entire freaking seed. That's not really worth it at this point. Yeah, jewelry box actually lets you get uh, basically three different combinations of, of orbs. An orb, necklace, and ring. Yeah, the orbs are your basic attack. The necklaces give you like the special spell, like the meteorite that I've been using. And then the ring is like some kind of passive effect that's linked to what the, the orb is about. I think there's an item over here. Yeah, there is. Uh, we don't have an A card, unfortunately. Back sand. Dust spring, eh. I always forget about that one. Again, that doesn't actually have anything randomizer. Yeah, like most of the, the plot item pickups are randomized, but for some reason that one isn't. I don't know why. Unless it's actually not an item you get proper, it's just like maybe some like story trigger. So I'm getting a little concerned about not having, not having the uh, third time spinner piece. Ooh, that damage. Okay, don't have any more order right now. Got her. Okay, so she has like 2700 hit points. Oh! Okay, there's an A card. Alright, so... Is there anything else we gained here, item-wise? Actually, there's more area to explore even. I, I forgot about this area. There it is! We have go mode. So I'm gonna probably do a quick save before we go in and do the uh, the final bosses. not die.
Yeah, I, I particularly like this theme because it kind of gives me the uh, the Black Omen by uh, Chrono Trigger. And the mood is very fitting too. It's gonna be a tougher fight because we don't have like nearly as much of the broken stuff we had before. Oh, I think I canceled out my damage because I did the time stop. Damn it. This time I gotta be a lot more careful than I was last time. Thank you we get a full heal to start this fight. I did not dodge that. I did not know that was a mechanic! He can actually cancel out his, his like dark breath with the, the vortex. Oh, that's actually amazing. Yay, learning new strats on the fly. Oh god, I'm healing. I got jerky, I'm gonna use it. Doesn't do a lot, but it does enough. Oh, of course, one more hit is all I needed. But yeah, seed number two beaten. I think that one, I don't know if that was actually faster than the first seed or not. But if the seed was faster, it didn't feel like it. Unless I just did like everything in a more like efficient routing, but yeah, I don't know. That, I, maybe it was faster, but uh, yeah. So that's gonna do it for me for the night because I don't really have time to do much any other randos at this point. So, literally, early, early, early night. But, uh, let me... Let's take a look at who we can raid into. So, we got... Who is currently streaming? Oh, wow, there's a lot of people streaming on my list. Um... Who do I want to go with? Uh... Oh, God, I actually have choices. I'm not used to this. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, raid. Let's let's do the Foxy. I haven't been able to catch his stream much in a while, so let, let's give him a little bit of love. Uh, if I can actually type in my thing, that would help. Make sure I spelled it right. Yep, Foxy. So yeah, we will get that started. Question mark. Exclamation mark. All right. So yeah, that's gonna do it for me for the night. I'll be back. Uh. Back up on th uh, Thursday at 6 p.m. Central with some more of our Monster Hunter uh, Rise playthrough. And hopefully I don't suck. I, I feel like I'm getting better with the hammer at least. So that, yeah, we should be able to do some stuff with that. 
But uh, yeah, not too much else I got to say tonight, so... Uh, yeah, let me actually get this uh, set up on my side. So yeah, I will bid you guys a good night, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. And of course, we will end with our usual cat meme. And...